Hello and welcome to another episode of Chaos Pony, the official podcast of the Order of the Pony. I am Jason Steele, and I am with Robert Benfer. Yes, you are. And Christopher Alex. That is correct. Christopher, what is your middle name? Gus. What is your middle name, Robert? Leon. Leon? I actually didn't know that. You didn't Leon. know my middle name was Leon? I didn't know your middle name was Leon. <laughs> my middle name is Leon. Robert Leon Benfer. Junior. J- Jason has Robert several, several Leon middle Benford names. Robert Leon Benfer Jr. Are you really yeah. Junior? Yes. My you're, dad's name is Robert Benfer. Oh my god. <laughs> you didn't know that? If I had known that, I would have just called you nothing but Robert Leon Benford Jr. Oh god. <laughs> Why did I tell you this? <laughs> I'm still I'm still gonna call you I'm still gonna call him Bert. I like that. See people uh, call Chris Gus at his old job. Really? Yeah. yeah. I, I, I was confused as hell because when I went when I went when you were doing that, that shuttle launch and I went to uh the United Space Alliance, everyone was just calling you Gus. Hey Gus <laughs> like, what why what what does this have to do it's with a secret life? Well they, they, they think it's they think it's a funny name. It's my dad's name and so it's it. funny because when my dad would come to visit me in my office, mm. uh people would people would come up to me and go, Hey Gus and my dad would go, Oh hey oh, are you talking to me? <laughs> My, yeah, dad, my dad was confused as as the fact that why people were calling me Gus. His name is Gus, and your name is not Gus. No, exactly, exactly. It confuses me. <laughs> yes, I have I have two middle names. Yes, Russell and Andrew. Really? Yes, Jason <laughs> Russell Andrew Steele, Esquire. Esquire. Wow, <laughs> I did not. How do you get the Esquire name? What, how do you get that? You have to kill awesome. an Esquire, and then you obtain <laughs> his Esquire title. <laughs> I might have done that. I might be an Esquire. So would I be a Robert Leon Benford Jr. Esquire? If you've killed an Esquire, then yes, you are Robert Leon Benford Jr. I got, I got, I got to do, I got to do it. Then I got, I got to make my name longer. You got to, you got to, because you I know can't. Okay. You're, you're not gonna, you're not gonna get a doctorate. That's, that's not gonna happen. So you gotta yeah. kill an Esquire. That's, that's the only way to extend <laughs> your name. It's, it's way too late for that. <laughs> it is. I've, I've already gone the road that I'm going down. <laughs> It's, this is it. <laughs> Murder is a much more viable option than education. <laughs> yeah, I think I think you're I think you're completely wrong, Jason. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it so, means it means you're an apprentice or an assistant to a knight. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure you have to kill an Esquire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, we are recording this early. I got shit on my glasses. Yes. <laughs> okay. I can't freaking see. <laughs> how, much, how much is on your glasses for I you, for you not to be able to see? What is this? Must be is a it, lot. Is it milk from when we recorded cereal? No, oh, this is it's like sticking. I can't get it off. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, I know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I can't get the shit off my glasses. But anyway, yeah, we're we we we're uh, recording early because today. tomorrow, Sunday, where we usually record is they- Easter. The Easter Bunny's coming! The Easter Bunny's coming. We have to prepare. We have to get weapons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the horror of the Easter Bunny is almost upon us. I'll bring the weapons, since I'm from Texas. Yeah. That's, that's a Texas <laughs> thing. I love Florida. Florida's got a lot of weapons as well. Florida does have weapons. Florida has a lot of people with guns. We are red states. Yes. <laughs> red state! <laughs> uh, but yeah, so the Easter Bunny's coming. Yes, and Easter we have to murder coming. him. Oh, well. <laughs> He's an Esquire. We we need <laughs> we're gonna, we need the, the title. Bunny. Bunny I was I was looking I was looking through my Facebook and I noticed that uh, you know people were putting pictures of uh, their kids with the Easter Bunny and every single Easter Bunny looks creepy. Mm, yeah. Every single Easter Bunny looks like it's a murderous bunny. I have it, it it creeps me out looking at it and I'm an adult. I can't imagine how a, a child feels sitting on this thing's lap. Probably horrified. Oh, I can imagine. I can imagine. I don't know why children get afraid of Santa Claus. Santa Claus is, you know, a jolly fellow. The Easter yeah, Bunny nice should guy. not be that big. Nope. Bunnies should not be that big. No. I agree with no. you with that, Chris. They should yeah, that, be weird. That's too large for a bunny. That is too large way for too, a bunny. Way too large for a bunny. I mean, of course, they're scary. It's it's a bunny, except it's like seven feet tall. <laughs> but it has but it has a crazy look on their face. Like their mouth is open. <laughs> Like, hey, like in a- <laughs> kids! I'm an Easter Bunny! Come over here! Ah. Yeah. What you know do what I do all day? You for I shit out eggs! <laughs> I'm an Easter Bunny! Ah. My eggs are filled with chocolate! <laughs> oh, God, they're so good! Are you sure those are eggs? Ah. <laughs> I don't know if I want to eat those. Yeah. 
Good old rabbit pellets. <laughs> mm-hmm. 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 I had a. Uh, I had. I used to have rabbits. I Did you? They, have they, they scream have when they have sex. <laughs> Did they scream? Yeah, they're basically like me. <laughs> I used to have a bunny. Except they're having sex with their own species. No, I had a bunny. <laughs> you did? Robert Benford with a bestiality joke of the week. But I yeah. Did that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You That's need, a new you, need a, you need to play a jingle every time I do that. No. <laughs> ba, 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 da, 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 da. Robert's should... bestiality joke of the week. Ba. Yeah, it should, be, it should be seven minutes long. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it just totally throws off the flow of the episode every time you do that. <laughs> no, Robert, not again. Oh. I blew a turtle today. I put peanut butter on my balls. No, 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 no. It really works. We're off to a good start. Easter weekend. Easter weekend. Easter weekend. <laughs> of course, this is probably still going to come out on Monday. Ha! So we Just... got we got some angry uh, emails about Hoboken. Oh, really? Hoboken! Yes. <laughs> Apparently, Hoboken is not the correct pronunciation. <laughs> and what is the correct pronunciation? We... Is it the way I said it? Yeah. Hoboken? Mm, yeah, I think so. Yes. I'm still going to call it Hoboken. <laughs> I think it should be called Hoboken. And I'm going to call uh, it Hoboken. Do they actually live in Hoboken? Uh, yes, I think so. Okay. Then they have reason to be mad. Or live near Hoboken. <laughs> well, I'm sticking by my original Hoboken. Well, because I think that's right. Yes, I, <laughs> I, I've always been correct. I'm just not going to say the word at all. <laughs> that city over there. I'm just going to call it Hoboken. Those people. <laughs> How about Homoken? Oh. oh. That means gay. That does. <laughs> It's a word for gay, homosexual, yes. Hoboken. <laughs> so there's gonna... a uh, a new Doctor Who coming on. Oh really? Yeah, I the don't new, watch new season Doctor starts. Who. What's that? I don't watch Doctor Who. Been meaning to. Yeah, you should. It's 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 like my, my favorite show. Oh yeah, didn't you uh, dress up as one of the characters for Halloween or something? Yeah, I dressed up from the original series. It was yeah. uh, uh, Tom Baker. Oh. Uh, With a scarf all the way down to the floor. Oh yeah, yeah. I have a. I have a like, how, how many feet is that scarf? Uh, Nineteen 20, feet. Nineteen feet. Nineteen feet. Yeah. Nineteen the foot the long scarf, scarf. The bigger the man. Yep. But the or... new season. <laughs> new season with Matt Smith. Uh, this is his second season as the Doctor. It's starting tonight, which is Saturday. So by the time this episode goes out, it will have aired, and people will already know how awesome it is. What season is it? Uh, well, this is season six of the new series. Yeah. Uh. I need to. I need to catch up. Is it better than Lost? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, still catching no, up would, on Lost. I would, I would say this is definitely better than Lost. <laughs> uh, Lost. Lost wasn't a bad show. I like. I like Lost. I enjoyed the watching. The it was this kind of. There's not was. very other show. There's not many shows that uh, it like each week. It's an event. It's yeah. like we got to watch Lost. What's what's crazy stuff is going to happen this time? It's just. I think we explained this already. Yeah, we, we already talked about. Did this. we already talk about? It? Yeah, don't we, we don't. I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Yeah, yeah. But then I'm done. We... I'm done with Lost. Why are we talking about this? Like, I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, how long has it been off the air? I don't want Lost in my life like anymore. A, like a year. What about twenty <laughs> four? I like, I I, I, stopped, I I I only watched the first two seasons actually. I think I walked uh, up to season they, five. It, get, it gets better. I heard it got better and then worse. Uh, I like the last season. I haven't. Well, I haven't seen past season two, so. But I think there's like. I think there's like eight. It was one of those shows season. where I had to stop watching because when I watched the first episode, I, I got it on DVD, and I watched the first episode, and I was like, "Oh, I, I gotta watch the second episode now." And I yeah. watched the second episode yeah. right after that, and I was like, "Oh, I gotta watch the third episode now." Yeah. And so, just an entire day, I got yep. no sleep, and I was. That's just... what that's what happened to me. That's why I, <laughs> I, 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 I could get the DVDs, I could start watching them, but I'm afraid to because I don't want to. Yeah, and the same thing. When I got season life. two, I was like, "Okay, I'm just gonna watch one or two episodes." 
and then I'll, I'll uh, you know, get some work done. Yeah, and I watched the first episode, and then, like, you know, a day later, I have gotten no sleep. Yep. <laughs> I, I haven't eaten. Nothing done. I haven't eaten. I haven't done anything, and I'm just sitting there. You still sold yourself. This. I haven't moved. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really like the later season. I don't. I didn't like the first season. I don't know why I stuck through after that. That's why I, I, I did like the first season a lot. I, I did. I did too. That's that's the thing uh, that got me hooked. Uh, then, well, I didn't like the first few episodes. It, it gets. Mm-hmm. Uh, know. You know, I think I think twenty four is with a, a coming out with a twenty four movie in a couple of years. So you guys got to get caught up before that. Yeah, well, I will. The best. I, I will, the best. I will, best I will, I will set aside you, a week. You yeah. gotta see it. Well, the best way to watch twenty four is I think I, I think watch it live on the TV because it forces you to watch the one episode then you gotta wait for the next week I heard uh, Penn Jillette had yeah. 24 parties where really. he would uh, people would come over and just the entire day would be spent watching through a, a 24 season together wow yeah that, Maybe that sounds do that. like a cool thing to do yeah I like 24 I know people did the same thing with Lost they do like Lost parties I yeah, think, I think there's certain TV shows that you can do that too I, I, like I, a- I, I wish that I had a Doctor Who party to go to <laughs> You'd be the only one there, Jason. It's gotten a lot, lot more popular than the United States. <clears throat> I've been, I've been watching this for since I was a kid, and so I'm really thrilled that people in the U.S. are finally watching it now. Yeah. And, well, uh, it, it's only a matter of time before they make a U.S. version of it, just like they did with The Office. No, I think, I think the British version is popular enough in the U.S. That's not going to happen. And no, if they make a U.S. version, <laughs> I will personally murder whoever's involved. <laughs> there is, I'm going to make it. I don't, I don't think it's impossible. To make a good British, I mean, a good American version of Doctor Who, I don't think it's actually impossible, but I think the odds are so unlikely, and even if you, there's no reason why you would want to do it. It's, it's, it's a British show. Yeah, yeah. I mean, why, why did they do it with The Office? Well, The Office, I think they did a good job of that, and there's nothing about the original Office that, I mean, it was a British show, but there's nothing about it that would be blasphemous doing in the United States. Whereas with, yeah. it's it's kind of like, it's kind of like doing a British version of NASCAR. <laughs> it's like, why would you do that? Why would you have the British NASCAR? It's it's something that's so culturally ingrained with a certain, a you, you just wouldn't do it. You would have, you, you, ha- you can have other, you know, uh, other science fiction shows, other whatever. There's no reason to do an American version. Would you? Uh, would I you don't, and I don't at all mean to compare Doctor Who with NASCAR. But <laughs> cheerio, we're gonna go sit down I was just and watch these cars. They are both very great. I was just trying to think of something that's super American. Well, is is NASCAR yeah. even super American? Or no, just it's super southern, southern but super it's southern, still yeah. it's still an American thing. I think I think I think the biggest American thing is uh, American football. Yeah. It's about as American as you can get. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, the old pit skin. Get it's awesome. The old pig skin. P- the old piggy. What'd you, uh, speaking of the, uh, what'd you think of, uh, Ricky Gervais at the Golden Globes? <laughs> Didn't we already talk about this? No, yeah, I don't I think, think we did. We, we did. did we this was a while ago. What do you. No, I think, I think did you we... and I talked about it, Jason. No. Oh. No, we, we never talked about this. I don't think. No, oh, no, I liked his. I thought it was hilarious. Yeah. I, I think he's a funny guy. I, yeah. I like him. I thought it was great. Yeah. I'm I'm a huge fan. I've I've been uh, <laughs> I'm a fan of Ricky Gervais. He's a funny guy. Doesn't he have a podcast? Yeah, or or a TV show or yeah, something? No, he well he's had a well yeah both of those are connected. He's had a podcast for forever before anybody had podcasts, and uh, that that eventually led to a, a TV thing. And I think he has another TV show coming out soon. Yeah. Oh, that's good. I I think he's funny. Yeah, we should uh, we should go to the topic of the week. Glad to see him getting work. <laughs> Glad to see him. Getting We've been getting work, work for years now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what, was that, what was that movie? <laughs> it, was a, it was a joke. What, uh, what movie? Not the, the, um, I mean, the not... invention of lying <clears throat> was because I get him mixed up with uh, the guy who did the um, uh, Run Fat Boy Run. Sometimes I have no idea what that is. Uh, it's another British uh, comedian. He was in uh, Shaun of the Dead. Oh, the guy with the blonde hair. Yeah. Nick, oh, Sean Simon Pegg. You get yeah, Ricky Gervais yeah. mixed up with I Simon don't... Pegg. What? Yeah, it, what oh, the, the, the no, movie Nick Frost. Oh, you, was it Nick Frost? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about, Chris. You lost me. <laughs> I, I'm lost. The I'm topic lost. of this week <laughs> is cha cha chuddery. 
or Cha Cha Chudhari. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce the topic what? of this week. <laughs> wow, look at that. Cha Cha Chudhari. He's like a book. human version of Papa Smurf. <laughs> yes. Smurf. <laughs> cha Cha Chudhari. Cha Cha. Cha Cha Chudhari. Chudhari. Cha Cha Chudhari. That's probably it. Cha Cha Chudhari is a popular Indian comic book character created by cartoonist Pran. The or Pran, <laughs> the comic comes in ten Indian languages, including Hindi and English, and has sold almost ten million copies. Really, Cha Cha Chadari, Cha Cha Chadari, Cha Cha Chadari, <laughs> has also been made into a television series. Uh, yes, it, it was created in 1971 for the Hindi magazine Lotpot. He has a hell of a mustache. <laughs> he does. He has this just insane huge I want that. white mustache. Maybe you can grow that out again when you're uh, that old, Jason. Maybe. <laughs> Have a nice white mustache. Yes. That's what do you think it'll, do. I oh, he has come in white. He has enemies. Some nemesis of Ch- Chacha Chadari are Raka. What's a What's a decoy? What's a decoy? No, but an immortal the, the, yeah. giant. Decoy. <laughs> giant after drinking a magic, magic potion. <laughs> <Yeah>. Magic <laughs> magic potion made by... Uh, I can't even read like normal words now. <laughs> Chakran... <laughs> Check out at Robert Ari. reads English. Well, see, I have, I have actually. I mean, you're you're just reading this off the cuff. But, There's yeah. still no excuse for not knowing how to pronounce magic. I know how to pronounce magic. I but I chose I mean, magic. The topic of the week. I mean, I've I've had hours to prepare. So many times, Chacha Tadari has beat. I don't know how to pronounce Raka. I guess that's it. R a a k a. I don't know, it doesn't matter. Oh no, oh no. Raka forced him to shave off his mustache as a result <laughs> of a competition which oh, no. Shaka has won. Oh, goodness. I wonder what he looked like without a mustache. Not nearly as cool. No, definitely not. Oh no. <laughs> that is... Raka's a dick. He is. <laughs> that's, that's tragic. So it started in 71, <laughs> 1971. Mm-hmm. Indian kids, uh, let's see, uh, age groups 10 to 13. So it's... Uh, Cha-cha-cha-dari. The dog's name is Rocket. <laughs> yeah. Or or Racket. Or come racket. on, come on, Rocket. <laughs> oh, listen to this. Uh, the dog is the only vegetarian dog in the whole world. In the whole <clears throat> world. What in the whole pussy. world, this is this is the only vegetarian dog. He's the also the only dog. World. He's the only dog that's also a pussy. <laughs> just kidding, Jason. I'm just playing with you. Yeah, just playing with you. <laughs> so that is the topic of this week. <laughs> cha 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 dari. Cha 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 dari. Oh, did you hear the uh, PlayStation Network's still down? Yes. Really Although this is when this goes up on Sunday or Monday, it might be up. It'll probably Monday. still be down. What happened? I don't play. I don't know. They got much. they got attacked or something. So for days it's been offline. So people haven't been able to play multiplayer online games. They got attacked. Yeah, I got attacked. I I blame the Nazis. <laughs> They're they back. came back. They came back to to screw up PlayStation. You know they haven't released much information, but honestly, for the PlayStation Network to be completely down for this long, something ridiculous had to have happened. <laughs> I mean, this is the entire PlayStation Network. Well, Amazon's uh, servers went down for a couple days. Yeah, that was... There's something going on. Yes. There's something... Conspiracy. Cyber attacks. Someone's doing something insane. I mean, this Cyberdyne. is... Cyberdyne. This is terrorist attacks. Whoever, whoever did this knows what they're doing to a kind of scary degree. Because yeah, yeah. Amazon... Amazon for... I mean, that's a huge... Amazon's been attacked before. Yeah, there was a... a I know Anonymous at one point was attacking Amazon servers. And... Why? And, you know, all these... Other, I, I don't remember... And all of these, well, because Amazon had, I think, kicked WikiLeaks off their servers at one point. Yeah, I think it was probably in re- in regards to that. But uh, yeah, Amazon just kind of shrugged it off. It was like I don't think anybody noticed. It's because right. Amazon has really, really good servers. But yeah. yeah, I think if if Amazon servers were <laughs> were knocked offline or uh, damaged in any way, this it's big. Yeah. Oh yeah. Internet's under attack. Who's attacking? Who's attacking my internet? I, I wonder if the PlayStation Network, because they've been doing a whole bunch of uh, of things with with locking people out of modifying their systems and 
and all sorts of things. And I know there's been a big backlash against that. I wonder if this is involved. I just I just yeah. pulled up the most recent news article. It says Sony admits that it was hacked. Yeah, I mean that that happened yesterday. They admitted it was hacked. Uh, is it? That's 21 minutes, yeah. Well, that doesn't mean that the news was 21 minutes old. That just means this, that article this, was 21 minutes old. The news is 21 minutes old. I'm on the I'm on the cutting edge here. <laughs> well, by the time they listen, people listen to this, it's going to be two days old. <laughs> yeah, this, this, the PlayStation Network could be entirely up by now. Or down forever. Down forever, yeah. It could be that. Nobody, nobody cares about the PlayStation Network. We don't know. People only care about the uh, the Xbox Network. Yeah, I love my Xbox. I do, too. I love my Xbox Live. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah that yeah. costs freaking 60 bucks a year. <laughs> yeah. No, you get uh, you got away from so going so good. It's by the time that you're done with your system, you've paid for the system twice. <laughs> it's uh, like you, when you, I was I was calculating it up and it was like, "Oh, so I paid well, I like bought, $700 for this system." Well, I bought I bought 12 really? months on get? sale. And then uh, some, for like, my birthday, somebody gave me 3 months uh, gift card, so I got 3 extra months for free. Yeah. So, but um, I mean, it's so many, it's too so many much people money. on it. Robert, uh, we got a, we got. I got to get your uh, gamer tag or whatever it's called. Yeah, you we do. can play some games together. We can play together, Robert. Yeah, we can play. What games do you have? Well, Jason, you just gave me a copy of uh, Left 4 Dead Four. Let's play that. Uh, it's not Left 4 Dead. Left 4 Dead. How do I keep on saying <laughs> I mean, Four? Oh, because it has four. I guess because it has four brain. in it. Yeah, it's Left 4 Dead. Brain. Yeah. Left 4 Dead. Yeah, let's play it. Let's yeah. play some Left 4 Dead. We should. I. I we should well, all play. Yeah, we could all play. Yeah, let's do it. Let's None do of my it. friends play Left 4 Dead. Let's 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 do it. Yeah. How many? How many? Being, uh, how many people being, can play in the multiplayer? I think four. Usually, I've I've uh, I usually play with three people. So it's I mean, including me. So there's a fourth bot. No, we should all we should we should all play after this. <laughs> let's <laughs> let's play. No, I've got I got stuff to do after this. Let's play, Jason. Well, we should we should play at some point. I, I do like that game. Well, yeah. let me know. And I actually because I've I've played the game. I played Left 4 Dead with uh, you know, with all human characters, but I actually like it better with one bot. Yeah. Because usually when there's like an enemy that I can't find where they are, <laughs> the bot knows where it is. So <laughs> it's good having a bot on your team, just, <laughs> just so the artificial intelligence can see things that you don't notice. He's up there. Yes, we should. Uh, what other games do you have, Chris? Um, I have uh, Halo Reach. I, I got have that. Um, Dead Rising. I got that. Uh, Saints Row Two. No. Um. <laughs> uh, crap. What was the other Burnout Revenge or is it Burnout Revenge? I have one of the Burnouts. <laughs> no, I don't have that. Um, Lost. God dang, I can't remember all the games I have. Because I we bought like That's... Jason. And I Jason was with me when I traded in my the two Nintendo DSs and I. Got like a hundred dollars, and they were doing a pre-owned sale: buy two, get one free. And so uh, I just we just bought like a crap ton of games. Yeah, let's play Halo Reach. Portal Two is that? Yes, Portal Two is that. I, I, I got that. I, I haven't played I, it yet. I still need to get the orange box and play the first one. Yes, you do. Yeah, I that's, I that's a that's a must. What do you? <laughs> I don't know what are you why for? I don't. I don't know why I don't have that. I just haven't gotten. Uh, I haven't gotten around to it. Is it? Mm. Hey, is it good? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm convinced. I'm gonna get it now. <laughs> it's it's one of the few games that I don't have any qualms with at all. Oh, I'll have the. Is it doesn't have like Half Life and. Yeah, Half Life. Yeah. Uh, is it or Half Life or, Two? Half Life Two. Are all all the games good on one. it? Yeah. You've. <laughs> have you ever played Half Life Two? No. What? <laughs> are you actually? Are you? I don't know if you're being serious now. I'm not joking. I oh. haven't played it. No, that's it's one that's, of the few games. That is my favorite game of all time. Okay, then I'll have to get it. That's the only game I've ever played more than like. Uh, I think there's a couple of games that I played again, but not all the way through. I've played Half Life Two through like three times. All right, I'm gonna go out right after this show, and I'm gonna get the orange box. You should. Yeah, it's it's really good. <laughs> Because I'm actually, this is a weekend where I don't have to do anything. I don't. I'm not working on anything. I'm gonna. I want to play some video. I was gonna get the new more. I, I couldn't decide whether or not I wanted to get the new Mortal Kombat game, mm. which is like sixty bucks, or uh, if I want to try to play Infamous, which is only like thirty bucks now. Because mm. uh, yeah, I, 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 Infamous is good. I wanted to. I wanted to build up my play PlayStation Three. Yeah. Game library. Library. Yeah, my, I, my, I like I like the Infamous. 
my favorite game is Leisure Shoot uh, Leisure Suit Larry Box Office Bust. What? Let's move on to the delightful <laughs> and the repugnant. <laughs> So, Robert, what is your delightful this week? All right, my delightful is uh, I saw Screen Four, and uh, that was uh, that was did I say Screen Four? I meant Screen Four. Screen Four, Four, yes. To, to be fair, I just woke up thirty minutes ago. Or how it's stylized, <laughs> Scriform. You you guys actually called me as soon as I got out of bed and, and sat at my desk. You guys called me on Skype. That was pretty oh, wow. timing. So I'm I'm having I'm having trouble pronouncing things, but I don't know if that's a good excuse. Robert's still waking. He's still in dream mode. So how was Screen Four? Anyway, Scream 4 was good. It was better than uh, basically what everybody else is saying. It was better than 2 and 3. Mm. It was about a it was probably the it's the best definitely the best sequel. Did you need to uh did you rewatch the first 3 before yeah, you watched the fourth one? Yeah, I did actually. I had a nice little uh, screen marathon the night before. Yeah, I'm doing the I, same uh, thing before I see Scream 4 and watching through the originals. Yeah. Are you are you planning to go out see, to see it, Jason? Maybe. Yeah, it's definitely it definitely makes it better if you watch all three of them first. Yeah. Well, if you do, let me know. Maybe I'll be maybe I'll be interested to go out. Mm-hmm. I want to come. That. I know Jennifer won't say. Yeah, want you want you uh, fly over, Robert. No, yeah, fly over. We can all go see uh, Scream Four together. Yeah, and then you can fly back home. Yeah. You guys, <laughs> uh, you guys want to know who the killers are? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so that's your <laughs> delightful. You want to know who dies? No. no. So what's your repugnant, Robert? <laughs> My repugnant is a uh, sucker punch. Sucker punch. Yeah, I movie. heard that wasn't good. What a stupid movie. I, I'm I'm disappointed. You know, here, I saw the trailer and I was like, this doesn't look very good. Yeah, but that's what I thought. I was at the same time. I was like, but I think it's just probably a bad trailer. I bet it's going to be fun to watch. But that's I haven't I seen it because I heard it was actually really bad. Mm-hmm. It was uh, it was pretty stupid. Yeah, I heard there's a lot of crying. There's a lot of crying. There's a lot of... It's basically a, a really, really long music video. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Ba- basically, like everything else this guy is, all the other movies this guy has made, it was very underwhelming. Yeah. It was actually it was actually uh, one of the few movies that I was actually kind of getting sleepy watching. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. I was actually getting kind of tired. Man, this, is, this isn't very fun. Yeah. I hate that. You pay all that money was, to go see a movie. I actually wanted to go home <laughs> during the fight scenes. <laughs> the fight scenes are, you know, the fight scenes are all good, but it's just they're all, you know, you know that they're not real. They're not really happening. They're just imaginary. Though the characters are just well, that's, just imaginary. that's every movie, Robert. No, I mean the char- No, what I mean is the characters are imagining oh, yeah, the action scenes. Yeah, that, that's. I, I had heard that that's a problem because you you know that nothing matters because it's all. Oh, I hope Imaginary. the dragon doesn't eat them. <laughs> because the dragon that doesn't actually exist, that can't possibly actually harm them. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Was it? We'll pass on that movie then. Chris, what hey. is your delightful? My delightful is uh, Pandora, Shut- and most recently uh, I discovered Last.fm. Uh-huh. Because um, that's on the Xbox, Last.fm. And uh, I really like that. I don't have to bog my uh, phone down with... Uh, or my Xbox with music and everything. I just stream music. Chris is so. a couple of years behind the rest of the internet. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've been using Pandora for a while, but uh, I, I just signed up for a last FM account uh, uh-huh. yesterday when I was playing around with my Xbox. Yeah. So, yeah, I thought it, I think it's really cool. I, yeah, I used to listen to Pandora all the time at work. Mm-hmm. I have Pandora, Pandora on my phone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's I listen I to it in the car. I use I it. Uh, I, I don't... I don't use it that often, but when I when I want to find some new music, it's really helpful. I found a lot of cool stuff with Pandora. Yeah. Well, do you remember how uh, Pandora first started when it was only like independent bands that was on it before yeah, and they then got? The, and then the yeah. man came along. <laughs> yeah. Then the man came on, got mainstream with the contract. <laughs> but yeah, I remember. I remember it was uh, my brother David that that first started mm. using it, and he showed me. And uh, I wasn't interested in it because, you know, I didn't recognize any. I was more into, yeah. you know, what was currently on the radio. And so, but but he really liked it. And then um, then a few years later, that started getting a little bit more mainstream. Yeah. So, yeah, that's uh, that's my delight. What is your repugnant? My repugnant is... What do you is, hate? Uh, what do I hate? <laughs> I, uh, yesterday this happened to me. Um, but my repugnant is people who try to make jokes around police officers. I was. Uh, <laughs> this yeah. is a very specific repugnant. <laughs> well, I was. Jennifer and I were were out yesterday. We were at um, uh, 
we're at a restaurant mm-hmm. and we're waiting in line and then um, I, I guess a, a, a police officer came in uh, behind the line mm-hmm. and and so the, the lady in front uh, saw him and, and she goes, uh-oh, the Popo's here. Uh-oh, Popo. And so, you know, <laughs> I say that. <laughs> well, and, and, well, it's ridiculous. And and so then she then she talks to the lady behind the counter. She goes, better better make my meal right or I'm going to get the police to arrest you. <laughs> okay, I don't say yeah, that. And stupid stuff like that. So, and I, I turn around and I'm looking at the like at the at the cop, and he has like this uncomfortable grin on his face, like, "Oh God!" He gets it, he gets <laughs> it everywhere he goes. Yeah, I, I hate that. It's like you know, why can't you just act normal? You know, you go to the cops. Oh, arrest anybody today? I mean, come on, just leave him alone. You know, just he probably gets it all all the time. And stupid joke. Hey, I had a question to ask you. If I'm going five over the speed limit, is that something that you would pull me over for? Well, come on. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. I, I find those kind of jokes that everyone tells these egg rolls are criminal yeah <laughs> you should arrest you should arrest them for making bad egg rolls <laughs> i'm so gonna eat on. twice as many burgers because of you <laughs> i like that joke that joke's funny <laughs> it's not chris it's the same thing that joke is great i get that as often as the police officers get the police jokes <laughs> i guess i well, don't maybe. have to pay <laughs> 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 oh, in fact, I got—I actually jokes. got messages from vegetarians who listen to the show, and they were—they were all saying, "Yeah, I get that all the time too." <laughs> Good. <laughs> I hope everybody continues to do that. I don't really have an annoying thing that people say about me. <laughs> no, no. Okay. I guess That's first good. I need shame. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That would help. No, because I'm not a vegetarian and I don't have a job, and uh, I'm not a cop. I guess you should make more of those clay people movies. Ah, uh, yeah, there you go. When are you gonna make another claymation? <laughs> there you go. My uh, my delightful this week is the North by Northwest soundtrack. Really? Uh, that is a good soundtrack. Yeah, I, I couldn't think of much else, but <laughs> we were <laughs> we were a- listening to it recently. And this kind of like relates a- to my repugnance, so... Uh, me and Chris, I was, I was showing Chris the uh, parts of the movie. And th- this I- is one of the, the first film soundtracks that really kind of... Def- this kind of defined what an action movie soundtrack should be. I actually haven't North seen that movie yet. Yeah, it's, it's really good. Uh, my repugnant is uh, late 80s, early 90s movie soundtracks. <laughs> Why? Well, I was I was watching Hook, <laughs> which I hadn't seen in a while, and it's it's still a good movie. But the, as, as soon as they get to Neverland, the uh, the the orchestra gets does a proper soundtrack, and it works. But before that, it's so like eighties, nineties. It's like this piano playing. Ah, oh, I hate those kind bum, of. Bum, and it's loud and annoying. And it's like 80s, 90s dad kind of like missing his son's baseball game. I'm running late. I like the main. I like the main theme song to that to that movie though. Yeah. No. As soon as the orchestra comes in, it's great. It's just they gotta do that freaking horrible, horrible music. That I'm what about, glad is uh, gone I now. I know what you're talking about. What about like Jurassic Park? That was early '90s. Yeah, that was a you good said that had a proper orchestra score. I'm talking about Ba-da-da. specifically when they would have the. <laughs> well, wasn't um, uh, hook the hook soundtrack? Wasn't the uh, composer was it James Horner? I I didn't actually look it up. It, uh, I don't know. He does all of Spielberg's movies, so it probably was. Uh, well, no, James J- Horner. Uh, no, wait, no, no, no. Wait, the guy. Wait, who's uh, John the guy Williams. Did... Oh, John, John Williams. Yeah, John Williams. Yeah, he did. No. Um, he did uh, Back to the Future. He did uh, yeah, Jurassic guess. Park. Yeah, I'm looking at. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. John got... Williams did the music for Hook. Got the names. Was it? Oh, John Williams did the music for Hook. I thought it was yeah. James yeah, Horner. Which I am. I am surprised by actually because it was a horrible decision to have the, the for first part of the movie have that kind of music. It just sounds awful. Well, I wonder if I wonder if he did the. Uh, maybe I guess he did the entire. Huh. That's like, surprising. Uh, I like the soundtrack for a uh, mouse hunt. I think. <laughs> you know another good soundtrack. Um, Undercover Jason's, Brother. 
Yeah, there you go. Undercover no, uh, brother. No, uh, Peter Pan, uh, 2003. Classic. Yes. That's a, that's a good soundtrack. Well, let's move on to world news. Robert. Huh? What is your news story? Oh. (laughs) (laughs) The exciting world of podcasting. (laughs) Uh, Oh, I have to have a news story? Yeah, well, you guys probably already know about this. Everybody's, uh... I won't send. There we go. Everybody's freaking out because, you know, apparently iPhone's tracking... Uh, Tracking, oh yeah! Tracking people uh, where people are going. Apple Basically. is watching you when you go to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, so everybody's overreacting. You got Apple is watching people. you when you eat a sandwich. So yeah. what exactly are they doing? Is is it a constant tracking? Or I mean, there's well, <laughs> it's like a cache basically. It's not really the, the information is not really being. I don't know what it is, but cache. <laughs> it's like a. It's, I like I love Robert words. <laughs> But I mean, what? Don't what is it? What is it? Cash. It's cash. Oh, I like I like I like you, saying cachet. You, you turned it into a French word. Oh, okay. I thought you were make. I thought I was using the wrong word. No. Okay, I was just pronouncing something wrong again. <laughs> You're the best. I I really do like you, Robert. You're the best. Well, I know I know you like me. I like me. <laughs> Yeah, you're yeah. Fun, well, the uh, the iPhone it, and iPad, I guess, uh, keep a uh, a log of your GPS locations. It's it's used for it's used for advertisement purposes, but I think the main problem is that it's unencrypted, so it's possible for some so for a malicious source to grab yeah. that data and basically so, know everywhere you go. So, are you saying that that the GPS is constantly running? Because wouldn't that drain the battery? No, I think it's it's an occasional log thing. Because I know when you load up maps, it takes a second for it to locate you. So I think it's it's basically whenever it does a location, it logs it or something like that. Yeah. My phone does that sometimes. It makes me nervous. Like I'll look at my phone, and all of a sudden, my GPS icon will start flashing. Mm. Like as I didn't, that's, I didn't that's tell the it to the yeah, big, they're, big brother they're tracking. That's, that's the government finding out where you are to make sure you're you're still in Florida. <laughs> you did used to be a, a drug cartel in, uh, in Greece. A drug cartel in Greece. So yes. know, it's just it's just a cachet. <laughs> That's the best. That's the best. I don't think you could top that, Robert. And he he's got to go. And it's, it, well, it's a cachet. That's that's, 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 that's really, causing. Well, I mean, that's not really a kind of word you say out loud a lot. So we're turning uh, over I'll a new be- paradigm. <laughs> I'm it. cooking uh, Philip Mignon for dinner tonight. <laughs> have I, know some how to say I know how to say those words. Come on, people. <laughs> I'll have a bagel with cream cheese. <laughs> I actually Sh- say bagel Sh- now. Sh- champagne. <laughs> champagne. Jalapenos. <laughs> Jalapenos, yeah. Photo. Actually, there are some words that I say wrong on purpose, though, like a photographer. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I do. I, I started do the same thing. I started saying uh, instead of sandwich, I'd say yeah, uh, cash, sandwich. Cache was an accident, though. Chris, what is your news story? Well, I am. Uh, I'm disappointed to say uh, Antoine Dops- Dotson has been arrested. Oh no! The guy from uh, Hide Your Kids, Hide Your Wife. He has been arrested for marijuana possession, or excuse me, marijuana. <laughs> look at that! Look at that hair. You see that mugshot? A for, black for vanilla you, ice. Yes. He's got a he's got a poof going on. He doesn't look very happy that he got arrested. No, no, I was wrong. He's like a black Conan O'Brien. <laughs> oh, that's right. He does look like he has a poof. Yeah, I got the little. Well, the uh, the one thing that I that I noticed it looks like because um, there's a related story at the bottom of this that uh, he's working on his own reality show. Mm-hmm. So you're gonna we might be seeing the Antoine Dodson reality show. Oh, cool. He's gonna make a lot of cachet. Yes, he'll make a lot of cachet. A lot of cachet with that. So yes, um, I unfortunately I had to bring everyone the bad news that uh, that our, our favorite internet celebrity has been arrested. That's well, besides me, of course. Besides yeah, besides besides Bert. <laughs> Here's my news story: Happy quacks again as ducks hit the water. <laughs> So here's here's what happened. Uh, 
This is this is a terrible article. To borrow a <laughs> phrase from of a ride the ducks captain, it was a quacktacular day yesterday to be back open for business. Ride oh the Ducks, God. the Georgia-based operator of the fun and quacky tour in Philadelphia, <laughs> has suspended its operations locally after a deadly accident last July in the Delaware River. The boat operator was back in the streets of Philly and in the river, launching duck boats full of kids of all ages during a week off for many students around the country. Ride the Ducks spokesman, or spokeswoman, uh, Charla F- Felcher. Felcher? You know, I, I should read these articles before... Before I read them, <laughs> Ride the Duck spokeswoman pre- prefaced, prefaced. <laughs> Jesus Robert, you're a terrible Terrence. influence on me. <laughs> you're so stupid, Robert. Watch me read. Uh, <laughs> I, I feel I feel doubly horrible when I mispronounce something because I make fun of Robert for doing it. So well, to often. be fair, I didn't pron- I didn't mispronounce something. I, I you added. I, an he, extra. he honestly thought it was cachet. Uh, the following information with a oh my god <laughs> I've, in I've email. I've heard it said as cachet before. Most families um. <laughs> interviewed who were passengers on the duck boats yesterday fell into one of two categories. They either had no idea that an accident involving duck boats had occurred, or they were aware <laughs> of the Delaware tragedy but felt that the company had made enough safety improvements for them to take the plunge. The article doesn't explain exactly what this horrible accident was. It just kind of does this <laughs> ominous... I want to know about the accident. <laughs> it never mentions what the accident was. Just that there was this horrible, imagine. unspoken accident. I can only imagine what it was. <laughs> With paddle boats? <laughs> With duck boats, yeah. Oh, duck boats. <laughs> uh, when told of what had occurred, she said, Oh my God, I didn't know that. I didn't hear about that. <laughs> it doesn't explain what the, the accident was. Something really bad happened. She didn't know about the duck boat accident last year. Gallagher wouldn't have altered her plans if she had known, she said. Another passenger wanted to support Ride the Ducks. I'm a big fan of the underdog, and to see them on the ground again, uh, I wanted to be part of their return, uh, said Bill Cummings, 42, who took his daughter Amanda 8 on a day trip to Philadelphia from Millville, New Jersey. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well. There was um, a horrible duck boating accident. <laughs> Very disappointed. I, I want to I know about that. Where's, where's the other I do kind of want to know about the... Sounds like you got a cool uh, article on your hands right there. I think so. You don't want to talk about it. That's the world news. <laughs> Robert. Yeah. Robert, do you do have... It. Yeah. Do you have yeah. a word this week that uh, you have invented? Yes, it's time for another Robert invents a word. And yeah, what is your word this week? Uh, yeah, first of all, can you give my segment some music? Uh, no. You didn't give me any music last time. <laughs> no, I know. Yeah, just give me some any kind of music. <laughs> any kind of music. Okay, you'll have you'll have music this time. Okay, good. <laughs> oh. I don't like the sound of that. I don't like the sound of that. What? Okay, what, what is your word? Anyway, uh. Anyway, uh, my 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 word for this week is gastrophotistral. <laughs> and so gas, how on earth do you spell that? Gastrophotistral. Spell that for me, Robert. G A S T R O P H O T I S T R O L. Okay, gastrophotistral. Yeah. Photistral. Yeah. Sure. It's uh, it's when your heart fills up with pee. <laughs> okay. How the hell does that happen? It's a very serious condition. I don't know how it happens. But that's that's just what it is. Okay, so that's when your your heart fills up with pee. Yeah, it's it's very uh, it's actually pretty common. It's more common than you think it is. I, I the I, way the word sounds, it, it would have almost I would have almost thought it would have to do with gas or something like that. No, it's all pee. Okay. It's all pee. Okay. It's just pee. Your heart fills up with pee and and you mm, die. Do you die? Oh, you do die. Okay. No, you die right away. Yeah. This is... This is a great word, Robert. Yeah. <laughs> it actually sounds like a real word. It does sound like a real word. It, <laughs> it doesn't sound like... like a real word for a heart condition, but it does sound like a real word. <laughs> it sounds It sounds like if I was a doctor. <laughs> uh, you, probably, you probably have gastrophotistral. <laughs> I think I hear oh. pee in there. Could you imagine if Robert was a doctor? I don't know. All that, uh, I don't yes, think... I can imagine. <laughs> Is it a good imagine nope. nation or nope? No. Not in the least. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take off your well, pants. Looks, looks like you got some issues. 
gonna have to cache this stuff and uh, <laughs> figure out what's going on. Oh god. Uh, it's the new, uh, it's not my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's my turn to get picked on. I bet I'd make a I lot got... of cache if I was a doctor. <laughs> you would. You'd make a yeah. ton of cache. Or I, I, I probably wouldn't make a lot of cache, actually. I probably probably wouldn't last that long. You, know, you gotta go to, like, doctor school. Oh, yeah. You, don't you have, have to, to pay back your school. Or can I just take, like, an online class? <laughs> yes. Just take, like, an online DeVry class for, University. Like, six months? <laughs> a friend a friend of mine, when, when I was going to UCF, a friend of mine turned a few extra dollars. They would uh, uh, proctor exams. Like, they would basically monitor exams. And they said that the the people who cheat the most are doctors. People who are in the medical school taking medical tests. Mm-hmm. They're the ones that cheat the most on, uh, on exams and That's tests. That's good to know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, there's, a, so, there's still a chance for me. Th- think about that next time you go to visit your doctor. The next time he's sticking twos up my ass? <laughs> exactly. Well, that's not the doctor. That's the guy in the van. Well, let's move on to the Wait. Order of the Pony update. A new Grandmaster has still yet to be chosen. As our audience may remember from our previous update, there is currently a vacant position in the Order, left by Name Withheld when he was killed a week and a half ago. Usually these positions are filled rather Wait, quickly. Wait, he was killed? Yeah, remember last week? The... No? <laughs> Robert doesn't pay attention. How did he die? <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it, was during the, <laughs> it was during the cloud incident. Oh, I remember the clouds... You don't pay attention. We, we this was pretty clearly talked about. So he's he's dead. <laughs> Name withheld has died. Yes, that's why there's oh, a vacant man. position. That's sad. As, as announced last week, he, he was. Yeah, it is sad. He was he was our newest grandmaster. I'm gonna replace him. Uh, anyway, usually these positions are filled rather quickly. However, uh, there is still a lot of damage control going on regarding the recent resurgence of the classified threat publicly referred to as the cloud. Uh, the High Grandmaster has released a statement regarding the delay, saying, Baka, baka, wow, I don't know, geez. And that's the Order of the Pony <laughs> update. Wait, what happened? <laughs> you don't pay attention at all, Robert. You don't Man. care what's going on. You just want to go to the the blood oaths. Yeah, that's all. I just want to get my and blood. You're done. When do we have another meeting? I don't think... We haven't been invited for a while. I have a feeling that's partly my fault. Yeah, they don't so like I, us anymore. I have a feeling it's partly your fault as well. Because I get blood everywhere. That could be part of it. That could be part of it. It could have. It could be that you don't wear the ceremonial robes. Instead, you wear nothing. <laughs> that's, yeah, that, that could be it. That gets a little uncomfortable. I mean, it is, it is a bizarre cult, but uh, I think you're a little much... Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> You're a little much even for cult members. Cut my arm off and throw it at the guy's face and well, said, I'm giving you a hand. There was that one time in which you were kind of incoherent. Your arm was bleeding and you were yeah. kind of waving around and you're like, oh, oh give a hand. <laughs> like, what the oh, hell okay, explain it. okay, I didn't actually cut my arm off then. No, no, you still have your arm. I imagine that. There's I- no way that you could have possibly thought that you would cut your arm off. I thought that I, I saw, I thought that I cut my arm off, and yeah, I was seeing things. Let's move on to email. Yay! Okay, we have a uh, email from Gabe. Chaka Chadare. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Robert, Jason, and Chris, hey guys, I have two questions for the podcast. If that's all right. My first goes directly to Jason and Chris. I was browsing through your videos the other day, and I noticed the trend that seems to be occurring in almost all of the comments for every video you guys put out. Almost all of the top-rated comments have at least one guy that says, blank should meet Stanley, he's real nice. (laughs) Of course, that's a line people get from Stanley the Pineapple, but I'm just wondering what your thoughts are on this. Did you expect that this video would be the most memorable, or at least appear to be? How surprised are you by this? Yeah, it's. I have no idea why that gets quoted so often. (laughs) That video is not even that popular. It's just for no. some reason, just everyone keeps saying. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to be a popular phrase. Yeah, yeah. Chris, Chris thought the movie, was, uh, the video was horrible. <laughs> and well, as that's my favorite, I wasn't the, a fan. Yeah, 
<laughs> As for the other question, this one goes out to all of you. How did you decide the voices for your characters? Do you take a lot of time out to plan them, or do you just improvise? Uh, it just seems like the voices you guys do are very distinct, except for the 40 or so clay men that all have the same voice as Robert. <laughs> <laughs> and, I w- <laughs> and I wondered how much thought process you guys actually put into it. Thank you for answering my questions. Keep up the job with the amazing podcast. I'm really enjoying it so far. To be fair, I don't think Jason's voice is any more flexible than mine. No, I, I have. I, I usually have like four voices that I. I'm just lazy. Mm-hmm. I think I have a pretty good range of voices. I don't know. We just use one for all the cartoons, though. Right, but I could do other ones. You can. In fact, I, I recorded <clears throat> one for uh, for a cartoon. We just haven't put it out yet. Yeah, that one's pretty good. So I think I could do multiple. Like, I'm the I'm the crazy guy that sits in my house and like I'll try different. You're boy, so I'll be crazy. Driving. Yeah, you're so that in the Chris. Car. <laughs> Chris is pretty crazy. My favorite voice is the announcer's voice, though. So. Yeah. I like that voice. Chaka Chidori. <laughs> From Nathan Love. Ooh. Hi, Knox, Jason, and Chris. I put Knox first because I was a fan way back when he was on Newgrounds. Uh, not going to waste your time by telling you guys how awesome you are. Well, you just did. And I'm <laughs> sure you already know. Yes, we do. And I don't want to turn Knox into Knox. Any, which you did. Anyway, yeah. uh, I'm writing to ask... <laughs> this guy is stupid. <laughs> I'm writing to ask, what is the best, funniest porn names you can think of? Uh, as I'm consistently told that my name would make a great one. Oh, is that his real name? Uh, I guess, Nathan Love. Keep oh, up wow. the good work with the podcast. You are doing the order proud. Just do it, Nathan Love. P.S. Ocelots are awesome. <laughs> the funniest porn name. I was like it when... I want to like be either... the Love Ocelot. The love ocelot. Yeah. So, what what is your favorite porn name, Chris? Well, it's not it's not a particular one, but I I always like find it funny. I think this is mostly for like strippers in the strip club, but when they go by a candy cane or something mm. weird like that, I just think that's kind of odd and funny. I like uh, I like T Rex from Orgas- Orgasmo. <laughs> Actually, there's there's a uh, there's a. Uh, Somebody told me about a guy, uh, his name was Long Dong Silver. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah that's me. <laughs> uh, I did not expect. <laughs> that's my doctor's name. Yeah, you told me about this, and we looked it up. We looked it up, yeah. And uh, the guy has a wiener that goes down past his knees. Yeah. Is that possible? He has to tie it to the side I of his did, legs. Yeah, I didn't I didn't expect that. He was like elephantitis of the, of the schlong. I don't know what, how, how the how hell he that, got that. How is that possible? I have no idea. Is Look it, it up right now, Robert. <laughs> okay. Look it up right now. <laughs> Next email this guy is from Steven. Is bad. <laughs> well, Robert's busy with that. <laughs> hey, Robert, Chris, Jason, I live in Canada, and we have a federal election coming up. Who should Jesus I vote for? Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> you should vote for Long Dog Silver. <laughs> I'm hungry all of a sudden. <laughs> What what could you possibly be in the mood for after you look at that picture? Hmm, corn dog. <laughs> Oh, Masa. <laughs> Banana. An elephant trunk. <laughs> Banana split, yeah. His cock. <laughs> and that's the joke. <laughs> so the Canadian elections. I don't even know who's running. Vote for Long Dong Silver. From Maggie. Yes. Dear, right in Long dear Dong Chris, Silver. Robert, and Jason, first of all, I love the show. Fantastic job. Thank my, you. My question is, on a desert island, which one of you... Would the others choose to eat first? <laughs> well, I don't think they'd eat me because I don't really have a lot of meat on me. You'd be the easiest don't. to kill, though. <laughs> That's true, but I'd probably run the fast. No, wait, no, you exercise, Jason. <laughs> I exercise, too. What are you talking about? Yeah, you've, been, you've been doing a routine now that you, you got your job going. Yeah, but yes. Jason could run faster than you. I'm you sure. think so? Yeah, because he has his, like, running machine thing. Well, of course well, he has I that, just, too. I have the same machine. I think I, Jason's feet are too big. I think he'll trip up on him. I've got runner's legs, though. You have runner's legs, but your but your feet. I think you'll trip on your feet. I got good grip on the ground. <laughs> yeah, but when you pick yeah, up your foot and who would be the drag it. First of all, you got to think about what I eat. Who would be the tastiest? Probably me. I'm the fattest. Yeah. So uh, yeah, Chris, Chris will probably be the one that gets knocked off first. That, 
That's yeah. if you can get the, me though. Because we can get a big we can get a big meal out of that. There's also a strat <laughs> well, there's also a strategy involved here because if uh if we kill Robert first, then I don't know. I think Chris could overpower me. Yeah, yeah, that's that's true. So me and Robert would have to team up and then at one night I'll hit Robert over the head with a coconut. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think I could take both of you guys on. I don't know. I think I think both of us combined could could take you out of Chris. Can I don't we just know. Eat I'm like pretty a, strong. Like squirrels or something. <laughs> yeah, it's, there's got to be something else. Why are we trying to kill each other off? There's got to be something on the island. Yeah, they got I'll like. Go fi- I'll go fishing. We have berries. Should we try our luck with the berries? I mean, I'm, I'm a vegetarian, so. Yeah, you wait. You. Oh, even... that's right. What are we talking? Jason wouldn't even need any of us. But I haven't can... thought about my moral stance on eating people. What are you talking about? That's like, <laughs> that's like, you you would eat animals, a person before you ate a hamburger. Innocent. You what? are not innocent. I, I'm, I'm innocent. <laughs> I think I think if it came down to it, I could I could eat a person. <laughs> so, okay, so so you're telling me you're Animals telling me are innocent. You have that's bullshit. You have, the three of us, the three of us are on an island, yeah. And say there's animals running around this island. You would kill a person first before you. I'd kill probably an animal. kill you guys and then hang out with the animals and and you know because animals give, can talk back to you. And, and, yeah, <laughs> give the animals a treat. I'd be I'd be the crazy animal lord on the island. It's just I constantly have birds on my shoulders and stuff. <laughs> walking and around don't, and and you better believe you the second you turn your back those animals are going to eat you oh yes well we have we have a respectful relationship i understand their power and i know that at any moment they might turn on me i'm the top of the food chain on this on this island i will kill the animals <laughs> until my animal horde comes at you at night <laughs> i will send off my legion of coyotes he's ace venture <laughs> over here wow <laughs> Next email is from Dustin. Hey, guys, my question is for Jason. I know you like ocelots, and I wanted to know, uh, what is your opinion on caracals? Or caracals? What the hell is that? I looked them up, and they are awesome. That is my opinion. How do you spell that? Uh, C-A-R-A-C-A-L. Oh, wow. Yes. Yeah, they're pretty cool looking. They have, they have funny looking ears. Yep. So uh, my, my opinion on that would be, uh, like him two thumbs up. <laughs> I might have spelled it wrong. I, I'm just seeing a bunch of uh, carousels. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Next email is from Evan. Hey guys, just a quick question: Have you played Portal? And if oh, we, we already answered this earlier in the show, about that. yeah, idiot. Yes. Pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, they look, <laughs> they do look. Wow, I want yeah, one of those. They're, they're pretty great. That's better like the, than an ocelot. I, I pull up Google Images. And it, no, it's not. I, I wouldn't say it's better than Ocelot. I think it's, it's better than Ocelot. I'm a I'm a caracal kind of guy. Is that is <laughs> that what, what you are? I'm a caracal kind of. I, I have to look up what the correct caracal. pronunciation is. I've never heard heard of these before. I'm a carousel kind of guy. <laughs> uh, from God. Christina, being from New Jersey and hearing Jason's pronunciation of Hoboken made me cringe. For once in his life, Chris was right. For once in oh. my life. What? Oh. I think I've been right more than once. <laughs> that was it. That was the only one. That was the only time. <laughs> You're going to learn that thing, uh, most of our fans the, are assholes, Chris. Yeah. The only thing I could do right is, is pronounce Hoboken. <laughs> Why for, does she have to say it like that? She couldn't say, me. like, for once on the show. <laughs> for once in your life. She, she knows me. She knows me. She's, uh, once in your she's whole known life. me for my entire life. From Sam, hello, dearest Robert, Jason, and Christopher. I hope I find you well. Uh, I was wondering, out of all of the videos you have ever made, what is your favorite? I really like Gods of Olympus. That's 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 a favorite of mine. Uh, what about you, Robert? I like them all. No, I really like Birth. Yeah, Birth, birth is probably <laughs> like Birth and Birth and Marriage are probably my favorite. I also like my new video. Oh yeah, we forgot to mention my new video. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. You, you have a new video. I have a new video, video called called a uh, yeah fish stick sandwich burrito. That's, yeah. that's that's probably one of my newer favorites. It is. It is pretty epic. It's in my top. Probably my top five. Mm-hmm. I like that. Where one. you where you eat coffee grounds? I eat coffee grounds, which uh, which 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 was disgusting. <laughs> I could imagine it would be. Anyway, yeah. Sam Sam continues. My favorites are the cloak and President Taft's secret pony brigade. She, uh, Sam does not mention anything from from you, Robert. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Email from Tom. Hey, Jason, Chris, and the Love Monkey. The podcast gets better each episode. (laughs) I know most of you were in a band in various other school clubs, so I was wondering if you took any uh, advanced placement AP classes in high school, and if you did, then what classes did you take and what scores did you get on the tests? 
I didn't. I personally did not take any AP classes, but I did do dual enrollment, which mm. was college credit. AP seemed too difficult. I'm trying to remember. I know I took. I know I took some honors classes, and I know there was some other. It might have been AP. I don't. It was. I don't. I, I don't certainly you, don't, I don't remember think, the. The. Scores, I don't think you took AP. I, I thought you might have done dual enrollment. I did something. I don't remember. Yeah. I. I to be honest, how with would you, you remember? But, you, How would I remember? You didn't, you didn't even go to my school. No, but we were we I, we saw each other all the time. I don't remember what classes you took. Maybe I took an interest in your life, Jason. Maybe you did. I, but between between AP and dual enrollment, if you have a choice, my I'd say dual enrollment because you get high school credit and college credit yeah. by just getting you know passing the class. You don't have to worry about taking an AP test. Next email is from Miles. Dear Jason, Love Monkey, and Alex. <laughs> Alex. Damn it, Jason. God damn it, Jason. God damn it, Jason. Look what you have done. I can only imagine what names are going to come out of this it's podcast. Just, you know how many nicknames you've gotten since we've started this podcast? It's, it's I'm different a man every with week. a million names. I'm still going to call him Bert. I like Bert. Call me Robert Leon Benford Jr. for now on. Yeah. Esquire. Es- Esquire. I almost said Escargo. <laughs> yeah, Robert the Ed Bedford Jr. S. Cargo. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Anyway, for Miles, dear Jason, love Monica and Alex. My question is to Jason: What are your thoughts on the theory that the Milky Way galaxy is on an inevitable crash course with the Andromeda galaxy? I was talking about. Yeah, it's not. It's not a theory. It's. 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 i My understanding is that it's. It's pretty much inevitable. Now, what's happening now? What, yeah, so our, our, mil- our galaxy is colliding with another galaxy. Our galaxy is colliding with another galaxy. Yeah, there's like a gravitational pull. There's Andromeda Galaxy and the Milky Way, and we're we're basically crashing into each other. Yeah, bring it on. Is this gonna is this gonna affect my mil- life mil- in any way? way? No, I mean this is Milky this is like, way. Well, I think it's like a billion, two billion years in the future or something. Then I don't care about it. It's I, I don't remember the exact. That might be. That's probably. I guarantee you. That's the I'm wrong be, number of years. But I'll have I, a front I, row seat because be I'll be really sitting in heaven. Yeah, my understanding is it's not a theory. It's it's just that's what is going to happen at some point. We're on a collision course. So I wonder what I wonder what's going to happen then. Like I wonder how a, just a big galaxy is going to form. It, it's going to be uh, I mean, before the, the sun explodes. Uh, I, the sun might explode before then. <laughs> I would think I would, I'd put my money on the sun exploding how before do we, how do we galaxies prevent that? or galaxy colliding. How do we prevent the sun from exploding? Do, we need to come up with a way to prevent that. You yeah. got to shoot fire into it. You got to give it <laughs> yeah, more fire. We got to shoot fire into the sun. <laughs> you got to give it more fire. It's going to run out of fire. You got to shoot flaming arrows at the sun. <laughs> <laughs> shoot, yeah. Shoot, Can you uh, shoot, shoot rocket launchers into it. Next Let's emails nuke, from, uh, nuke, from nuke the sun. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Next emails from Justin. <laughs> yeah, nuke the sun. Wasn't it what uh, Solaris? No, not Solaris. Uh, what was the movie Sa- that came out recently? Serena, Sir, Selena, Selena. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't Selena. Was, I don't remember. It was a sun movie that came out recently where it was just that they had to reignite the sun. <laughs> I don't remember. That I, don't, movie. I don't know what that was. Uh, I, I heard it wasn't very good. Yeah. Sunshine. Was that it? Sunshine. I don't know. No. I don't remember the movie's title. I have to look it up. Email from Justin. Cake or pie? Cake. Cake. I used to be a cake guy. I'm more of a pie guy now, although I do still love cake. It's just I learned how to make pies, and I came to appreciate pies much more. Your pies are very well, good, Jason. They, they are very good. But see, here's the thing. I, I'm i usually in the mood for, for a cake. Like when, I like, when I want brownies, I want a cake or a brownie. Yeah, I'm, like I'm the substance better. I I did used to be more into cake. I right now it'll probably switch at some point. I'm more of a pie guy right now. So between say you uh, between an apple pie or um, like a red velvet cake or a carrot cake, mm. what would you where would you lean towards? I don't know. It's the thing is like if I I don't know. I mean, apple pie is not my favorite pie, so that's why I said it. Yeah, but carrot cake and red velvet is my favorite cake but see but you're leaning towards pies to begin with so i was wondering if you would take a a not your favorite pie over your favorite cake i uh, like i like pizza pie i just find myself more <laughs> <laughs> i find myself more in the mood for pie than, than i do cake usually when was the last time you made a pie uh it's I, been I still, a while I, hasn't it no i still make them occasionally you didn't you haven't made a pie for me in a long time what yeah, happened jason I'll, I'll make one for you when you come down i make uh 
yeah, I made recently a, uh, I made a chess pie, and I also made a triple berry. I like the chess pie, the, my favorite. Yeah, it's pretty good. I don't remember what I had, but I remember it was good. <laughs> Last the email. Movie, the movie you were thinking of was Sunshine, 2007. Okay. Whoa. Oh, my God. <laughs> Last email is from, uh, <laughs> from Mason. Dear Jason, Roberto, and Chris, this summer I stumbled upon the black exploitation movie Black Dynamite. It's one of the best low-budget, uh, purposely bad movies. I, I, don't know if, I don't know if that's the right way to put it, but uh, I was wondering if any of you have uh, seen it and what your thoughts are on it. Sincerely, Mason. I haven't seen it. I, I haven't seen it. Oh, it's like Arsenio no. Hall is in it. Oh, oh man, Black Dynamite. No, it is... Uh, I guess the best way to describe it is really, really, really good. No, I, I think it's one it of the funniest movies that I've seen in a long time. It's perfectly made. It it looks ex- it it looks and feels exactly like a uh, a nineteen seventies black exploitation film. And it's uh, got like this know. double layer to it where there's like the black exploitation movie and then there's like these little things happening where you can see behind from when these people were making the black exploitation movie, and uh, there's this whole layers to it that's that's just great. It's it's really funny. I got it. Ch- yeah, Isn't that on Netflix? Uh, I have no idea. I I have it on DVD. Oh, do you have that movie? Yeah. No, it's it's. Uh, <laughs> I might I, have to. I want to watch it. This is one of the funniest movies I've seen in a while. I we definitely need to watch it, it Chris. Yeah. It's. I think it would be right up your alley. <laughs> Looks like it. You can stream it on uh, Netflix. Yeah, it's it's really good. You can stream it or get the DVD. Well, that's it for this episode. One more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, you forgot last episode to do the uh, let's start over joke. Yeah, I know that now. And yeah, you forgot what, this episode too. I don't know. Should I do it? It doesn't really work if I'm asking you to do it. Well, why'd you bring it up? <laughs> to ruin you. <laughs> to ruin, ruin I the wasn't. Joke. I wasn't going to do it. <laughs> well, now I'm going to remember next week to do it. Oh, but now we're all going to expect it. Yeah. Way to go, Robert. Well, all right, see well, y'all next week. Maybe, maybe if we start over. <laughs> there it is. Bye, everyone. Happy Easter. See you later. Start Bye. over. Give me another chance. Come on, baby. You've been listening to Chaos Pony, the official podcast of the Order of the Pony. You can write to us at orderofthepony at gmail.com.